students welcome to the class kinds of nouns part 2 so please take a pencil and a notebook to note down the important points so you will learn quickly by doing this let's get started firstly remember what you learned in first video part 1 clear so what we learned we discussed about a noun and their two kinds which were they yes they were common noun and proper noun let's move to the third category of nouns collective noun what is this collective nouns collective nouns what is collective noun a collective noun a collective noun refers to the name of a group or collection of people animals or things clear students a collective noun refers to the name of a group or a collection of people animal or things clear so it is the name given to a collection of common noun considered as a group clear so for example for example here keys a bunch of keys so keys are common this is common noun keys are common noun so when we take many keys and this the collection of keys group of keys is called bunch so bunch is a collective noun clear now the second Here, soldiers, soldiers. This is common noun, and a group of common noun is soldiers. A group of soldiers is called army. It's called army. So here, army, army is a collective noun. So, clear students, a group of common nouns is called is called collective noun. so and i hope you understood now let's move to the third kind of noun the fourth sorry the fourth kind of noun abstract noun what is that abstract noun so first what is an abstract noun a noun that cannot be touched smelt or heard a see but can only be felt and experienced clear so it is called an abstract noun a noun that cannot be touched touched seen smelt or heard or 
have heard. But can only be felt or experienced is called an abstract abstract now clear students a noun that cannot be touched see smell or heard but can only be felt or experienced is called an abstract noun so for example i am telling you first of all it can be the name of it can be the name of quality it can be the name of quality name of quality action it can be the name of idea feelings and state of being Dear yes, student, it can be the name of a quality, idea, state of being, feelings or action. So, by so take few examples. Let's take few example to explain abstract noun. So, first one is. kindness kindness so here kindness it is an abstract noun but it is a quality it is a quality of any person now the second one thought thought it is an idea thought third one laughter laughter it is an action now the next state of being so what is a state of being here health now the last is your happiness feeling this is feelings happiness sadness so these are feelings these are the some abstract nouns and their categories means a quality idea or action what verb they okay now listen students many abstract noun are formed by adding suffixes so how will how can we add suffixes to form to form abstract noun so look at the board first one first like a child there's a noun child but i add here hurt plus hood so this is suffix child hood so it become child hood child hood so this is the abstract noun number 2 act plus i o n it become action kind plus ness it change into abstract noun kindness so these are the some examples you can change noun or verb by adding suffixes and to form 
abstract now. Clear? So, take out a notebook. Yes, you have taken your notebook. So, please note down your homework. This is your homework. Add suitable suffixes to the verse. Try, then you will add here and make your suitable word number two. Mother, you have to add here. Now the third one. So, student, this is the homework. By watching this video, you will do this homework. Clear? Thank you.